Hi there, this is NikitaNet and what I've got on the bench today is a little bit of photo gear, secondhand photo gear. So let's do a little photo update. Uh, well, let's get started. So this is a very simple scene, right? We've got a battery, we've got some phones and we've got a camera, a Shinon Auto Zoom Composition a Genesis 3. Right, it is stated a GS9, which is a Genesis 3 model from Shinon. I'm sure of its age, but it's a good number of years old. Funny though, 7 euros for a camera, 20 cents for inox, so stainless steel fongs to handle developing uh, photo paper. So. This is all, well, at least these are going into the dark room kit I'm building up from, well, secondhand stuff. The funny thing though is that this camera, which is a, a bridge camera, was seven euros. I tested it out in the shop in that secondhand store with a battery that they had, because this one is unfortunately completely flat. Is a very nice Panasonic Lithium 2 CR5 6 volt battery. Right? This thing is functional. I tested it out. I cleared some dust from the rather the coal, I would say, the optical part you'll look in right here. And uh, it has a clear enough view that I can say that this should function if it does work properly mechanically. Right? It focuses nice. Now I have to shoot some film for it through it, but this battery is more expensive than this entire camera. Not joking, 20 euros in a photographic shop locally, 15 euros were 14.95 in a normal general store and uh, 8 euros online or around about 8 euros online, excluding shipping of course. So shooting this thing or getting this thing ready to shoot is more expensive than buying the thing entirely. I find that a very funny. So I do have to clean it up a little bit. It has a little bit of smooch. It has a couple of scratches, small scratches. And I want, because this lens comes completely out, I want to buy uh, a UV filter for it. So I protect the innards from dust. Um, it is missing its nice little rubber padding here. I'll either cobble something up or use it as is. Do need to clean this because it is a little bit sticky. Um, has a built-in flash. And it is a proper bridge camera. These were intended as a as a in-between between a point and shoot and a proper well mirror, well, not mirrorless, but uh, DSLR, so through the lens, single reflex. Not stating that entirely correctly, but except with these types of batteries, these cameras should be very nice. Uh, 20 euros, 15 euros, even 8 euros for a battery pack that will allow you to shoot, according to the manual, um, 20 rolls of film, when you use the flash, the flash, wanted to say flash, but when you use the flash 50% of the time. Little bit expensive. Found out that I can get film developed, so I don't have to develop it myself. Um, of course that is normal, right? Well, price-wise I can get it developed cheaply enough. Quality? I don't know, but I want to start developing my own film. Well, not the film I make, because I don't make film, but film I shoot, of course. So, a little update, some better camera gear than that other thing I bought. Uh, and hopefully this will be fun to shoot, because it is auto-focusing, hmm? auto-metering at least, and uh, it has a nice button. So. Thanks for watching. This is Nikita Nat saying like or dislike this video at your pleasure. Of course, subscribe to the channel and uh, 
See you in the next video. Bye-bye.